Welcome to the Virginia Peach Parks and Recreation Water Safety Tips for Parents of Children with Autism. First, we'd like to talk about some safety information. Drowning is the leading cause of death among children with autism. 90% of total U.S. reported death of children with autism spectrum disorders under the age of 14 years old had experienced a water emergency or drowning previously. Children on the spectrum are at a higher risk of drowning due to wandering, difficulties in recognizing danger, and an inability to process depth, currents, or debris in the water. Swim lessons can reduce the risk of drowning by up to 88%. First, we'll show you what not to do around a pool. The child enters the water unattended, runs towards the water, loses her balance, and mom is rushing to catch up. This is unsafe. Why swim lessons? Well, swim lessons have the benefits beyond safety. They help increase social skills, improve speech, gross motor coordination, strength, balance, endurance, processing, and most of all, self-esteem. The water is soothing and relaxes the muscles and decreases stress. Also, swim lessons can improve breath control, front and back floating. And most of all, swim lessons have been found to improve the knowledge of safe water entry and exit practices and water familiarity, such as getting your eyes wet in the water and water going on top of their head. And also, finally, it creates a routine to perform before entering the water, such as before entering the water, the child and the parent can high five. Over time, the child will associate giving a high five before entering the water. When entering the water, make sure you're holding your child's hand and reminding them that they have to have an adult when they're entering the water. Before they enter water, make sure you use your code. For example, high five before you enter the water safely. Now we'd like to talk about water proficiency. Proficient swimmers should be able to float and tread water for 60 seconds swim to the surface and return to the side of the pool, be comfortable in water where it is deep enough to be over their heads, and then finally, they should be able to swim 25 yards in a pool. Now we're talking about wandering. A child on the spectrum may wander away from the safety or towards bodies of the water without recognizing it can be dangerous. So here's some preventive measures that parents can take. For example, at home, make sure you secure all doors and gates, no matter the child's age. If your child has a history wandering around, make sure the alarm is installed so it'll help you know the door is open. If you have a pool at your home, consider installing the locked gate around it. Make sure you drain your bathtubs and also file the American Academy of Pediatric recommends that a family supervisor plan. Now, if you're in public, Review the expectations in water safety before arriving to the pool or the beach. Teach your child to hold your hand as you approach the bodies of the water. Keep an eye on your child. It can be tempting to get your cell phone out or chat to another, but danger happens in a split second. And finally, ensure that your child is wearing the appropriate life-saving device, such as a life jacket. Now we'd like to speak a little bit about appropriate swim gear. You want to critically consider the swim gear that you choose. Brightly colored swimsuits and properly fitting life jackets can save lives. You always wear brightly colored swimsuits for safety as shown in the chart below. Life jackets can also save lives. It takes 60 seconds for an adult to drown and only 20 seconds for a child to drown. Wearing a life jacket can help prevent a tragedy. Due to sensory challenges, a person may not like the way a life jacket feels on their body. Try to find one that fits their comfort level and practice wearing it around the house before going to the pool or beach. It is important that you choose a properly fitting life jacket. Jackets that are too big will cause the flotation device to push up around your face, which is very dangerous. Jackets that are too small will not be able to keep your body afloat. 
Now we're gonna take a closer look at the importance of wearing brightly colored swimsuits for safety. As you can see, reds, pinks, and greens pop in the water, while whites and blues blend in. Now you arrived at the pool and you see some life jackets and puddle jumpers available. Your child just goes for the one that she likes the color. So she starts putting it on. Please make sure you get it properly checked. So you start putting it on, but then all of a sudden a lifeguard comes. The lifeguard informs you that this is the wrong size for your child. So he points out inside, it tells you about the weight and the size of the life jacket that is appropriate for the child. Or the child is comfortable using the puddle jumper. Let the child choose which will be comfortable for them and then assist them on putting the life jacket on. Please make sure you secure the life jacket completely before entering the water. Now let's discuss about safety rules for the water. Adults should reinforce water safety rules before going swimming at the pool, beach, lake, or anywhere else where there's water. Talk to your child about these safety rules and review them every single time you go swimming. For example, remind them always ask an adult before getting into the water. Always use walking feet when near water. Pool decks are very slippery and they can be dangerous. Remind your child never to swim alone, only to swim when there's an adult watching you. Make sure they wear a life jacket if you need one. Have an adult make sure it fits correctly, or even a lifeguard. Stay in one area of the pool in ocean so that an adult can easily spot you. Next, you wanna remind your child to hold hands when you're near the water. And getting into the water, always use feet first. Remind your swimmer that lifeguards keep us safe, and if you hear a lifeguard blow the whistle, you need to stop, look, and see what they need to say. Another thing is please, no rough playing, no splashing. It does bother other people. And finally, if you are tired, take a break from swimming. It's okay. You have a choice when choosing swim lessons. The Virginia Beach Parks and Recreation Department offers two types of swim lessons. We have our Learn to Swim program with our aquatics water safety instructors or our therapeutic rec swim with our CTRS water safety instructors. With the aquatics department, the Learn to Swim offers many lessons for many swimmers of all ages and abilities. Patrons with a barrier or a disability can use our inclusion service to ensure the necessary accommodations are made. We offer the Tiny Boppers, and this is a safe and fun introduction to water for youth ages one to two years old. Then we have preschool lessons. This introduces a basic aquatic skill which children continue to build on as they progress through level two and three of the preschool aquatics and learn to swim program. The Learn to Swim lessons are six level programs allowing students to progress through the levels at their own pace, mastering the skills in one level before advancing to the next. This program provides an increased emphasis in the area of drowning prevention, water safety, and emphasizes also an inclusion approach to swimming and water safety. And finally, we offer adult lessons. This can help teens or adults overcome their fear of the water and learn the basic skills to achieve. Finally, our department offers Therapeutic Recreation Swim. This program is for individuals with disabilities. A certified Therapeutic Recreation Specialist works with certified water safety instructors to provide adapted skill instruction based on American Red Cross standards. The WSI's therapeutic recreation staff and volunteers provide individualized adaptations, instruction, physical support, and behavior intervention in a safe aquatic environment. The staff to participant ratio in this program is either one to one or one to three based on individual need. The only skills needed for this program are that participants must have a desire to participate in the sessions. 
Thank you for watching, and if you have any further questions or need more information, you can visit www.vbgov.com/tr.